What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. It's time for week 12, upset alert, and what seems like kind of a quiet week this week. Uh, usually when we get these types of weeks, you know, the schedule not as loaded as it was last week. You get kind of a quieter week. You're late in the season in November, playoff pressure building. Uh, this tends to be one of those weeks where maybe we do see some huge upsets, some shockers. We'll see. Uh, these are the eight games that I think are most likely to be upsets. And again, we're talking about spreads, four points or more. I'm going to go from the least likely to most likely. Again, we're trying to find those big upsets. We start with Georgia, Tennessee, 3.30 Eastern time on CBS. Georgia's favored by 10 and a half. That seems like a low number to me. I mean, you look what Tennessee, they just got blown out by Missouri, Georgia, what they just did to Ole Miss. But Georgia is coming off of that big emotional win um, in a huge game, and they're going on the road. Tennessee... The problem here for Tennessee is they really have nothing to play for, honestly. I mean, this game just doesn't really mean any, it really doesn't mean anything for either team because uh, Georgia, it's all about Alabama. Even if they lose this game, they beat Alabama, they're in good shape. Uh, so this, this is kind of a weird game. And I, I just, again, I just don't know why that spread is only 10 and a half. Uh, it feels like Georgia should win more. So maybe Vegas knows something here. Uh, Tennessee playing at home, that's a tough place to play. They've got the type of offense that could maybe challenge Georgia. So maybe this game does turn out to be interesting i don't know i don't really see it but again i put it on the video just because that spread which the, the same thing happened last week with alabama kentucky we saw what happened there so maybe this does turn out to be a blowout we'll see next we got florida missouri 7 30 eastern time on espn missouri favored by 11 and a half they're coming off of you know a huge win emotional win over tennessee do they have a letdown potentially here at home against a florida team that has to win one of their final two games to get to a bowl game and we all know Florida State is next, and that's that one's going to be really tough. So uh, this is going to be a desperate Florida team. We've seen them at times look really good this year. They've been really inconsistent. They've been kind of an up-and-down team this year. If they play their best, maybe they challenge Missouri, and, and maybe this is a close game. We'll see. Next, we've got Texas-Iowa State, 8 o'clock Eastern time on Fox. Texas favored by 7.5. Iowa State, they, they're known for this. They pull off these big upsets all the time. And they've just been a sneaky team this year. They're six and four. No one expected them to be um, probably even in a, in a bowl game this year, but they've uh, just kind of been sneaking along, I guess. I, I don't know. I've really, I don't know if I've really seen Iowa State play much at all this year. Um, so it's it's just one of those games. I think the talent advantage for Texas though will probably win the day. But we've seen them struggle against you know inferior competition before. So maybe it happens here. A tough place to play. You know Iowa State's going to be fired up for this one. Next, we've got Oregon, Arizona State, 4 o'clock Eastern time on Fox. Oregon favored by 23 and a half points. That is a huge number. This is an Arizona State team that's been getting better and better. They just beat UCLA. They have a win over Washington State. Uh, you know, they played Washington tough. So I, I don't think this game's going to be that big of a blowout. Uh, and we know about the history here. How many times has Oregon lost uh, in the state of Arizona? It seems to happen fairly often. And I think we could potentially see if there is a massive upset, you know, a playoff shakeup type upset. This is it right here. Arizona State upsetting Oregon. Don't really feel like it's going to happen. I think Oregon is good enough to overcome. But Arizona State might at least make this game interesting. We'll see. And again, all these upsets really don't seem very likely to me. But some of them are probably going to happen. I know last week, if you go back to the video, we didn't really have any upsets. That's like, the, I think, the first time all year. Uh, but this week, I think we'll probably see some upsets. Which ones will it be? Of course, that's the question. If you've got North Carolina Clemson here at 3.30 Eastern Time on ESPN. Clemson favored by 7. Playing at home. You know, this is one of those rare games where you've got the 6-4 and four team favored over the 8-2 and two ranked team. But uh, it makes sense. You know, Clemson's been close in a lot of games. They're coming off with some big wins. Uh, they're playing at home, tough place to play. North Carolina have been playing with fire all year, almost lost to Duke last week, and they have lost to some bad teams. So this feels like one where Clemson should win, actually, but we've seen their inconsistency, inconsistency this year. And if this game turns into a shootout, I think, you know, I trust North Carolina's offense a lot more. So uh, we'll see. I think this is one that potentially North Carolina could oddly enough pull off the upset even though it wouldn't really feel like an upset uh, you got colorado washington state this one's at 10 30 eastern time uh this one actually be on friday night washington state's favored by four and a half colorado they've got to win their final two games if they're gonna have any shot at or if they're gonna get to a bowl game same thing for washington state 
So, uh, this is a huge game for both teams to keep their, their playoff, or not playoff, but their postseason hopes alive, get into a bowl game. Um, you know, it's it's just one. Washington State has, has not been playing great as of late. Same thing for Colorado. Both of these teams, remember, were ranked early in the season. They've kind of fallen off since then. I don't know what's going to happen here. This is a toss-up for me. So, absolutely, uh, Colorado could pull off this upset. And then we got UCLA, USC, 3.30 Eastern time, back to Saturday here. And uh, this one's on ABC. USC's favored by 6.5. Uh, boy, this is a tough one to predict. USC, I mean, did they, they give up on the season. They've still fought pretty hard, even though kind of their playoff hopes have been gone now for the last couple of weeks. But uh, UCLA coming off of a tough loss. I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, if UCLA plays their best, I think they've got a shot. Rivalry game, never know what's going to happen. Uh, definitely put the Trojans on upset alert. And then finally, Kansas State at Kansas, 7 o'clock Eastern time on FS1. Kansas State favored by 8.5. That is a very strange number to me. I think Kansas has a really great shot in this game. This is going to be, you know, this will be huge for them to knock off Kansas State. I know, you know, quarterback injuries have been a problem. Uh, if they get at least Jason Bean back healthy this week, I think they have a really good shot. Uh, so definitely put the Wildcats on upset alert here. Kansas looking to pull off that rivalry win. Which upsets will actually happen? Let me know your picks down in the comments below.